Getting your footwork right is so important for hitting consistent, powerful golf shots. And in today's video, I'm going to show you a key move to stop your feet from spinning out and help you move more efficiently towards the target. Let's get stuck in. Mate, so Canadian legend Mo Norman has Believable. had a certain feeling about this trail foot, right? Yeah. And the understanding that we have now is it's called a banking. Yeah. Right? And there's certain drills and exercises that we're going to cover today. Mm -hmm. But I want you to talk about the importance of this move for us. You know, I think, you know, it's like intent precedes motion, yeah. right? So if we have the idea of what we want to do, our body can say, hey, okay. Then, then there's always a struggle or something in there that fights us. But Mo, I got, if for those of you that don't know Mo, and I, and I know, you know, Canadian legend, I would say mildly, maybe some some sort of social thing he had that lent himself to just focusing on practicing golf. Yeah. And he was the best hitter I've ever seen, yeah. period. Yeah. Okay. So Mo would say things like, I'm going to touch the inside of my right ankle on the ground. <laughs> now, there are always exaggerations, but the neat part about it is, if you stood over a golf ball and you tried to do that event, guess where I just took my body? Yeah. I took my body to my lead leg, yeah. you know, typically my pelvis opened a bit. Mm -hmm. I got into a position that good players get into, whether by accident or whatever. Yeah. You know, so Mo, you know, he'd have, he had a little wider stance than the average guy, wider than that. And so in this little strike here, it, like I'm going to really focus on, you know, collecting the ball to a finishing form but a real banking on my trail foot, mm. you know? And so that sense of how this foot gets in, into the instep helps me laterally collect yeah. myself on my left side. You could see it was a nice, it wasn't a full swing, but it was a nice crisp strike Definitely. divot afterward. These are things that you're not gonna see that with a struggling golfer. You're gonna see some sort of spin out move where you, you'll see the evidence, like Sherlock Holmes could get his microscope and go, yep, <laughs> there's the yeah. spin out, no banking. Why don't we, uh, I want you to swing to the top, Martin, and just yeah. demonstrate that. So guys at home, if you do film your swing and you see that your back leg is, leg is doing a bit of a funky move, if I place this golf ball up against Martin's back heel, yes. we just did a great video on this as well that you can check out. Now, as Martin swings to the top, Martin, I want you to demonstrate the old right leg kicking in spinning out move so oh, do so yeah we can see the ball kicks away how often do we see that every golf camp it's, yeah. one, it's one of my <laughs> primary things like right away it's low-hanging fruit it's the easiest thing for me to say hey let's work on footwork i just call it. let's have happy feet not sad feet yeah yeah let's let our feet bank and let's go to our you know our lead leg rotated relocated kind of kissy knees i call it yeah you know for a joke we have this phrase it's basically one two gum on my shoe just these little catchphrases for students to go okay one two gum on my shoe this yeah. could be the executive of some huge corporation i get them saying that <laughs> yeah. just so they have they're busy mentally with their goal yeah. of intent you know whether it's banking or just a better finishing form yeah so as you as you do that again Mom, like, yeah we love feedback right we totally golf ball here so on this one i want you to ensure that you're not spinning out with that yeah. foot and hitting it so you know here's just a mo norman kind of banking trail foot Beautiful. Yeah. And as we can see from that face on beyond that one, that ball wasn't touched at all. Now, right. we've also got a golf club yeah. as a reference down here, mate. Now, for the guys at home, when you place this underneath your heel, because we want to be self-sufficient oh, yeah, practices totally. and not always have a coach there, you're just going to place this kind of like mid-foot, yep. as we can see here. And, and safely, you, you wouldn't want it where your club could hit it. So just, yeah. you know, out of harm's way. A little bit behind. Yeah. yeah. And so here's a situation now where the golfer can have a sense of how this club can actually bank as the, you know, and you can, if you want to, you know, you can hit a short little shot and see how that club can bank and I can get forward and touch yeah. the ball and yeah. make a divot. And that, that was fantastic. I love this sort of drill here. Now, the one thing you've got to be mindful of, guys, is that when you do this, don't just try and keep it down. Oh, no. Let it go. You really just want to have the same intention of hitting a normal shot. Right. And the final little drill, Mark, we've got a couple of T's here mm -hmm. for this banking. Yeah. We're to talk about where to place them because we had an external focus here of the club dropping down. Now we're going to go more of a feel on the inside of the foot, aren't we? Right. Right. So as I get this, you know, I could stand over a golf ball and get in a position where... I can, I feel as though I can let this right foot push that T. Same thing over here. I think a lot of people on my lead side, they don't realize that, you know, this, this 
ability to invert and invert your feet is a big deal in golf. Mm. As I, I coach a lot of golfers that come to the camp. They're 50 plus. Yeah. They haven't run around barefoot yeah. in years. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So the strength and mobility in their ankles is sort of gone. They're not used to living on the inside and outside of their feet. Yeah. So I try to awaken that because if a club is passing you by and this foot's flat, mm -hmm. typically you can't sustain the expansion of these angles and impact nicely. For sure. Okay. So when we get in here, we, we have this goal of saying, okay, I have these two T's and I'm going to feel like I can bank. And I, you know, I won't press these T's in, but my goal is that feeling, you know, how I can get that sensation to get on the golf ball and hit a shot. Mm, love it. So really at the end of the day, the players who, if they were filming themselves from predominantly down the line is where you're going to see this one, the yeah. most guys, and that back leg is firing out, you might struggle with, we're going to say predominantly an over the top motion. Oh, you're for doing sure. some great manipulations on the way down. Uh, this is an excellent exercise, Martin, isn't it? For essentially getting players feeling like they're moving more towards the target and finishing, let's say, uh, tall and extended in this pattern. Yeah, so we call it at a dress, we're heart to the ground. In a finishing form, heart to the heart to the sky. Flexion, extension. Obviously, there's side bend components that are very important mm -hmm. in golf too. And again, it's in the cake mix. We're trying to blend in this nice balance of flexion, extension, rotation, side bends. Yeah, you know. But I don't even get into that language necessarily with students too much. I just give them okay. What little bit of recipe do they need to hit it better? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay, let's get the ball in the air going somewhere straight. Have fun, target. All right, mate, one more. Yeah. Let's pay close attention to Martin's trail foot on this one sure. as he goes ahead and pierces down there. Let's have a little fun, get set always. Last thing, target look, back to the ball. Hit a little shot, a little skinny but functional. Beautiful. Look, guys, Martin and Chuck out here at the Raven. Excellent information on how you can control your pressure towards the target, ensuring that back foot is banking. Thanks for watching this video. YouTube thinks that you would benefit from watching this one next. So click that card and it could be the tip that you need to take your game to the next level. I'll see you next time.